Hey, 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 Nigerian X JW Speaks here. Good morning. <laughs> it's Saturday. I am still in bed <laughs> with my hair bonnet on. And um, I know I haven't made a video this week because it has been a pretty crazy week. There's been so much going on. And I was just thinking about it actually because um, most of the time I've been putting up videos, which was around, I don't know, late February, early March, most of that has been during lockdown. And so the routine of things was different compared to, you know, now in September leading up to October where things are, everything's kicking back in. So all the things we normally do are sort of coming back on apart from my dance. And so the rhythm and the routine has changed a bit and it's just been quite busy to put something out. So I thought I might do them on weekends now. I'm thinking about it. If that might actually be a better time uh, so today today Saturday I love a Saturday I love a Saturday so that slower pace that um, especially if the weather's nice which I don't know if we're gonna have today but we'll see I'm gonna get up as soon as I get off here because in about an hour um, my son's got his personal tutor session so he does that on Saturday mornings so we're gonna do that have a bit of breakfast before that starts so we're gonna get that done um, and then later on this afternoon uh, he's got his ballet class uh, which we're gonna go out for so that'd be really nice I will try and uh, do a bit of work so just want to some emails while he is um, having his personal teacher session and probably a bit after that just just to try and get caught up a bit things have been really crazy so that's the plan um, Later on today, we are going to see some friends, uh, all socially distanced, of course. Um, just, just spend some time in each other's space because that will be, that'll be really good to de-stress a little bit from the week. <laughs> uh, normally, I would do my food shop on a Saturday. I would actually go out there and get something. But today, I'm thinking um, I might actually have them deliver it just to save us a bit of time and um, just that effort. I mean living in a small town where I don't need to drive to get around places and I work from home so I don't usually feel the impact of not having a car often it's um it's shopping days like that oh it would have been nice if I could just throw all this in a car and come home but anyway um I'm not gonna do all the effort today I'm gonna order it online and have them deliver it uh, save us a bit of time there so that is roughly the plan for today uh, i hope you're not too uh, mortified <laughs> by seeing me with my morning face and my uh flowery hair bonnet to keep my keep my dreads in place and uh from getting all linted up and everything but i hope everyone's well i hope you're doing well uh, I think uh, if you have been watching for some time, you know that my interest in the what the JWs are up to, like it's it's gosh, it's barely there, it's barely there. I I genuinely think that if I didn't have family in, they'd be about as relevant as my secondary school. Literally, the place that I was at that I left, <laughs> I don't I don't think about it, I don't research what they're doing. So, but um. If there's something that is interesting, and it do, especially as my family is there, I'll try and talk about it. But honestly, I, I, I don't really care very much what the governing body is up to, what they're teaching now, unless, of course, uh, impacts my family in sort of a negative way or the other, other bits of harm that they cause. Alrighty, speak to you later. Bye. Hey, 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 so I am back. It's evening already. I did not get a chance to film any of the stuff that we're doing today. Um, it ended up being quite a rainy day. And so I just wanted to get in and get out. So <laughs> this is what I'm feeling for the hair these days. I just put it all in one big bunch on top and just put it up there. Um, it's out of the back. It's, it's getting, you know, quite long and it like covers my face and I can't see. So I just put it up there and it looks like a really weird pineapple um, top. But anyway. I hope you are well. It's evening. I've got a glass of something. And um, I thought since I didn't come on, since I didn't film anything during the day, I'll have a quick chat this evening. And um, yeah, there's something that was on my mind while I was um, in the bath <laughs> this evening. And I was just thinking about the topic of freedom and um, 
the interactions I was having with my seven-year-old today, the set of conversations we have, when I tell him not to do something, I, I say, why? You know, because he's a very clever boy. <laughs> he's too smart for me sometimes, honestly. So we have these discussions. We have a difference of opinion. In things. I mean, that is not to say if it's something that I say, right, I need you to do this. And here's why the, the expectation is that it gets done. But for things that are not that serious, you know, for things that and by not serious, I mean, his safety is not in danger. It's not anything to do with his safety or his well-being. If it's just anything like that, we can have discussions. And one of his favorite things to say is, OK, we can agree to disagree. And that's where it ends. And I have those sort of conversations with my seven year old and it's OK to think different. When I think about that, that was playing on my mind today, compared to how the governing body treats their members, taking aside the things that are just basic, when they tell things like they tell their members to be honest, not to steal, not to hurt other people, I mean, that is just basic. That is nothing unique. I don't know of any culture that doesn't recognize that it's nice to treat people kindly. I don't know of any culture that advocates like a civilization that advocates for stealing from people i mean even when we have groups that do right now they get punished by the law you know satan system yeah satan system punishes them and so when they tell things like our members don't steal they're honest duh that is that is basic i i i will hazard a guess that most of the people would be generally the same people anyway. But when you get to things that are, well, they have no business being involved at all. You have things like that where they insert themselves, in some cases to the detriment of the members. Cases like whether or not someone should accept blood transfusion as a medical treatment. Literally, their lives sat on the line. And it sounds to me like a lot of, because I said so, because here's the thing, what we have is a book, a book that claims to be from the creator of the universe, which, as far as I know, no one has seen them or verified them. This is a book that we know the history of. We know, um, well, we have a sense of the people who may have written it, how it was translated, how it has changed a lot of times. So at best, it's a second hand of a second hand of a second hand. Now, I'm not here to get into the discussion of whether there is a God or whether there isn't. But what we have is a book that I say I am this and so accept it. Then we have a group of men that are taking their authority from that book and then stretching it, right? And then taking the maximum advantage and go, this book says we are these faithful and discreet slaves that are going to tell you what to do even things that are not in there and you do it because I say so if I try that with my seven-year-old <laughs> it's not gonna go down too well <laughs> just because I say so without explaining why you know why am I saying that to what benefit of mine is it you know not just because Jehovah is not going to be happy where is your direct line of communication to say Jehovah and and it's for me it just smacks off Complete disrespect. You'd have to think that someone is not on your level to demand that of them. If you are employed, you have a boss that sets out goals and objectives for the company to help the company grow. You have a vested interest. For one, they're paying your bills. You know, they're helping you look after yourself. Secondly, you have a choice whether or not you want to work there or not. So even then, they have discussions and a lot of the times you can see why they're choosing to do what they want to do. You might not always agree with it, but you can see why. And there's something you're getting out of it, something tangible, and you can leave at any point. What the governing body is offering is something that <laughs> there is no way to verify it. It's this reward that you're going to get after you die that no one's gone and come back and say, yes it's legitimate or no it isn't so there's no way to check but you're being given this promise this promise of this thing that they have no way of actually promising and so it's really smacks of a lot of disrespect and people being taken advantage of in a way that i can't even do for my seven-year-old what we have is a culture of just do it because i say so
and that's when it's taken to the max. That's when it's taken to the extreme, where you have grown men and women who can't make a decision for themselves. They have to go on a website. They have to go on a book. They, they go check a book. They have to speak to some people who have a particular title. And it's that lack of autonomy and freedom. I believe in collaboration. I believe in putting heads together, but also having a choice to say, yes, I agree or no, I disagree without fear of punishment. You know, which brings me to the punishment, the punishment for saying, do you know what? I don't feel like it. There are consequences. We've talked about this. I have a video on the shunning policy, which they flip-flopped about, but now they've got that pretty, pretty tightly on lockdown because as more people have the opportunity to research information and find things that they disagree with, they are going to want to keep that hold pretty tight and make it as a deterrent. That is why we have a lot of people who are physically in, but they're mentally out because there will be consequences if they make their disagreement public. And that's yet another point where I wouldn't treat my seven-year-old like that. I'm not going to say, right, because you don't agree with me on this thing that I'm not telling you why, I am going to stop you playing with your friends. I am going to stop you talking to them. In fact, I am going to isolate you completely from everything you cared about. If I did that, I would be one of the worst parents because just like that sort of isolation would create agony, psychological effects on my child, the isolation of people who decide not to agree with the governing body anymore. It does have psychological impact on their well-being when all you know is suddenly being cut away from you and, and, and people that you thought had your back, right, suddenly pretend like you're not there. That does something to you. So that's yet another layer of just complete disregard for the consequences of the arbitrary rules that do it just because I said so. And so just, just this, this concept of freedom, the freedom to engage with the world in a way that is authentically you, to collaborate with people, either people you agree with or people you don't agree with, but in a way of mutual respect and being free to think what you think and learn what you want to learn and feeling empowered as an adult human, right, to examine all the evidence, which is another thing. This um, limitation in what sort of information you can look at. You know, you can only find information in these sources. Don't look in that sources. How can you do that to an adult human being? An adult job working, tax paying, bills paying human being, telling them where they can and cannot look for information. That is crazy to me. I, the, the longer you're out of this religion, the more you realize how absurd the whole thing is. I think about my seven-year-old in terms of information. You know, yes, right now he's still under my care and I make the best call that I can in terms of what's going to be beneficial to his well-being or not. I have a vested interest and I prove every single day that I am invested in him doing well. And so when I make a call that, okay, this, this particular website is not right, there is evidence to back that up. But then there's a the point that when he becomes 18, right, we have these conversations all the time. When you're 18, it's your choice. You are free to make your decision. I am going to be here for support if you ask for my opinion, but ultimately you'll be making those decisions for yourself. Flip side, governing body, we have grown adult human beings who have been told where they can or can't go. Now, granted, not everything is beneficial for everybody, but people should be able to make that call without a threat of losing their families. How does that help? If someone's looking at something that's damaging to them, how do you help them by causing further damage, right? Absolutely doesn't make sense. So yeah, just freedom, the freedom, that sounds coming in the room, the freedom of... Um, yeah, just being able to assess things for yourself without fear, without fear of harm and actually seeing where it takes you. It's pretty, it's something incredible. I am going to leave it here. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear what you think about this. If you've watched this far and you haven't liked or subscribed, why is that? Why, why, why? Click a like, click a subscribe. It helps more people see these videos. And like I said, I may do them on the weekends now because we'll probably have a bit more time, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I don't think I think that was everything I had. Have a fantastic um, 
rest of the weekend if you had and if you have any of it left or if we are right into the new week when you see this have a fantastic week and i'll speak to you on the next one take care